Hi, welcome to this episode of Edgy Edge Functions. I'm Sam Ibar from Polyscale, and today I have the privilege of being your guest host. Today we're going to talk about code-free database caching. A few weeks ago, Thor discussed how to connect to Postgres from Edge Functions. Today I'm going to show you how you can cache your database data for your Edge function without changing a line of code. Polyscale is a serverless plug-and-play database cache. It dramatically accelerates the database read performance, lowers network latency, and reduces database infrastructure costs. Polyscale requires no code to implement, zero configuration, and no tuning. It can be implemented in minutes with a simple configuration change. That's what I'm going to show you today. Before we get to our function, though, let's talk for a moment about edge functions and latency. One of the great benefits of edge functions is that they're able to execute from close to your user. So if you have a user who's near Singapore, they'll get just as snappy a response as a user from South Carolina. Superbase edge functions have a global network that can deliver fast responses regardless of where you are. However, when we introduce data-driven functions, the story changes. If we have a data-driven function that relies on a database that's in Singapore, for users in Singapore, they'll still see a snappy response. However, for users in South Carolina, they're going to see a slower response because while the edge function is near to the user, the function has to return to Singapore to get the data. This will slow down the response that those users see. One way to solve this problem is by writing code to cache your data. You may remember an earlier episode in which Thor cached images. But to do this, you need to write code. You need to think about what you'll cache, and you need to think about how long to cache it for and when to invalidate the cache. At Polyscale, we think there's an easier way. By connecting your database to Polyscale, you can simply point your function to Polyscale and we take care of all the caching logic. We can provide improved latency for requests that are far away from the database. We can also provide improved response times for complex queries that would normally be slow with the database. At the same time, we reduce the overall burden on your database by serving responses from our cache. So in our example, the user who's close to Singapore still has a snappy response, but the user in South Carolina also has a snappy response when we're able to serve cache data because it's cached right near to the edge function. Let's go ahead now and dive into the code. If you don't already have it, you can click the link below to get started. So here we can see the Postgres on the edge function that Thor created several weeks ago. If we make a request to that function from Singapore, what we'll see is, is that we can have response times in the neighborhood of 70 milliseconds. If we make that same response from South Carolina, once our function's warm, the best we'll see is response times in the neighborhood of 300 milliseconds because the data is have the request is having to travel all the way back to Singapore. Let me show you how easy it is with Polyscale to improve this. If we return to our function, you'll recall that we had a .env file where we set the database URL. To use Polyscale instead, we're going to copy this host name and we're going to go create ourselves a Polyscale account quickly so we can see how easy it is. I'm going to go ahead and click sign up here and I'm going to choose to create my account with Google. And we're going to create a new cache. So we're going to give this edgy edge functions. We choose the type of database. Superbase is a Postgres database. Polyscale supports MySQL, MariaDB, and SQL Server as well. We've got GraphQL and an alpha release. We can paste in our host name here and put in the port. Uh, Postgres is on 5432 and we go ahead and click Create. We've now created a Polyscale cache, and 
in the background, Polyscale is, is checking to make sure that our database is accessible from all of the Polyscale locations. We simply need to take the new connection string that Polyscale has provided us and replace that, uh, use that to replace the original connection string. You'll notice we never entered a username or password when creating the cache because Polyscale doesn't store those and doesn't need to know them. We're going to go ahead and copy this and we'll now return here and we can just paste this in and you'll see we just can grab our psedge.global and replace the host, grab the application name, and go ahead and add that, go ahead and save this file, and then we simply need to go ahead and type in superbase secrets set file superbase slash functions slash postgres on the edge slash dot env. So we've now updated our database URL and we can now go ahead and rerun our function. So let's go ahead and run it from Singapore. And you can see now we're getting response times again in the 70 millisecond range as we saw before. Let's go ahead and now run the function again from South Carolina. Now that we're getting cache hits, we can see we're getting response times again as low as 60 milliseconds sometimes. Uh, the response times will depend on whether we're getting a cache hit or not because misses will still return to the database. But again, you see that we're getting response times in the neighborhood of 60 milliseconds, sometimes faster than the requests that are happening close to the database. So let's recap what we've done here today. We started with the edge function that Thor created several weeks ago that was accessing a Postgres Superbase database from an edge function. In less than five minutes, we were able to add a polyscale cache that allows us to have low latency connection to our data from around the globe. We didn't have to write a single line of code and polyscale takes care of all the logic to determine what to cache, how long to cache it for. Thank you so much for tuning in today and we hope to see you again soon. Thanks.